We've spoken before about how winter is a great time of year for noticing a tree's architecture. The skeletal form of deciduous trees is exposed this time of year and you can see the full uh, network of branches and how it's all put together. Uh, it's really incredible. Now, different trees have evolved over millennia to form the optimum canopy. The, you know, their shape, their silhouette, shall we say, uh, depending on what they require. So you might have uh, trees that are wind pollinated or you could have trees that require a relationship with birds or squirrels or pollinating insects. And so their twigs, leaves, uh, flowers, fruit, it's all been um, changing and adapting in order to capitalize and maximize the exposure to whatever it requires to have the longest and healthiest life. However, Trees are constantly adapting and they're extremely aware of their immediate surroundings. It's incredible. So if you plant a tree close to a wall or a house or a building, um, it knows that there is a physical um, object there. And it's not always trying to just throw out branches because that's the form I'm supposed to take. Trees are saying, right, there's an obstacle here, but how do we survive in this scenario? And I just think that that's something to take away. Isn't that just a beautiful thought? But I wanted to also show, because of the time of year that it is, as you're out walking in parklands and uh, in woods, but parklands especially because they're man-made places where trees are physically put into the ground, if you see some mature uh, tree groves or copses, you can see here three tilia, which have been planted in around the same time as each other. And there are no branches right in the middle of the trio. They are sharing nutrients in their roots, but they're also not trying to compete up top. They're working together and they're not throwing sturdy, heavy branches right into the center. And here we have the same with three beech trees. And you can see one of the beech trees in particular is leaning pretty heavy. And that is so that it can maximize the canopy, the leaf coverage that it provides, without competing with its cousins across the way or its siblings, however you want to see it. They're sharing nutrients in the soil, but they're also always um, communicating and working together up top as well so that they don't uh, outcompete each other. Because um, as we discussed at the start of this series, cooperation is key to success. Cheers.